In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extend the two-dimensional clusters that I showed in the previous video to any number of higher dimensions. The principle is exactly the same. You just need to add additional dimensions to the same code that I already showed. I'll show you an example here in 3D, just because it's easy to visualize. So this code all looks very similar to the code from the previous video, except I've added a Z dimension here instead of having only X and Y. I'm using different code here to generate the data compared to in the previous video. There's no appreciable difference between the way I've done it here and the way I did in the previous video. I just wanted to mix things up a bit to show you different techniques for arriving at the same outcome. And now I'm using the plot3 function because I have three dimensions of the data to plot. So here you see the data, and now it looks like a 3D cloud of dots. And now it's, it's even less clear where the three different clusters should be, just from looking at this thing visually. Okay, now I run k-means clustering again with three clusters. And all of this code is basically the same as the code in the previous video, just the plotting function is different because, again, we're plotting in 3D. So here you see the results. And now I can move this around, and you can see that these are three-dimensional clusters. The exact same principle holds, and the same code holds for uh, clusters in any number of dimensions, but of course, three is really the, the maximum number of dimensions that's really easy to visualize. 